So, these are the parts for our first modification to our camper van. The big brown box contains a Waco CRX65 compression fridge to replace our Thetford three-way fridge and on the top is the adapter for 240 as this is just a 12 or 24 volt fridge. Also, here's a piece of a Nordic Ash furniture board which we went to Magnum Motorhomes to collect um, so that we can fill in the cabinetry around about our new fridge. So this is our Pete the Cato based camper van. Um, it's a self-conversion. We didn't convert it ourselves. We converted a Sprinter in 2012, but we bought this one already converted. Um, came with this Thetford three-way fridge, but unfortunately we find it's very, very temperamental and depending on the levelness of the van. So we've decided to change it for a Waco compressor fridge rather than this three-way fridge. So our plan is to change it to the Waco CRX65 fridge. Uh, under this fridge box, we've got all of the, the workings of the van, the battery, the water heater, the inverter, the pump, etc. So all of this space is taken up We'd like to add a second laser battery, which we intend to do in the cavity at the bottom that we create by installing the smaller fridge. So bear with us, we'll show you as we remove this, install the new fridge and create a battery box down below for a second laser battery. Right, I'm just going to unbox the fridge. Okay, here's the plan of action. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm going to remove the old fridge. Not actually that old, but I'm going to remove this and replace it with the CRX65. Um, hopefully the audio is okay. My neighbours get washing some stuff so it's noisy. So I'll work away at this. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of it and then we'll move on from here. You might you think this will take me a long time, and, and it will. It's a very, very tight fit in the, in the cavity, um, and it's a very tight fit to get out of the van itself. So, here we go. Insulation that I added earlier, we'll take that off. Hello. Hello. That's the boss arriving. Wendy, just find the camera so you can't see her. Yeah, this came out much, much easier than before, so. Good. Fingers crossed that doesn't eject it. There's something that we hadn't thought about, mm -hmm. which actually will make things a bit easier. It's like that one, it doesn't fit flush in, it's about that much out. Well, I think that's a choice we choose, and we want to do that. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. That's why you buy the other frame. If you want it flush. Uh huh. Yeah. There's a gas disconnected to all so we bit of gas as we do this. Harder than I remembered. Well, that's a gas disconnected. Sweden can 
Kinvia, the van. And we bought it converted and we're obviously making our own modifications and upgrades. Um, it's been done quite neatly, which is nice. So I see there's actually a, an electrical connector there that I might be able to just disconnect everything, which would be nice. I'll flip around the back. Sorry for seeing my bum at the moment. Oh no, okay, that won't work that way. Right, so I'll disconnect all the electrics just before. Okay, excuse my bum. Um, obviously before I'm actually disconnecting anything here, the, all the electrics are isolated. So the 240 mains is isolated, the 12 volts DC is completely switched off. So just making sure if you wonder. When I last took this out, uh, I, I like to insulate things well, so this will take a few minutes to get all of this back apart again. Well that's our disconnected, I think what I'll do is I'll get the fridge out and then I'm going to actually terminate all the electrics in our terminal block so they're isolated and they're here if anybody ever wants to replace the fridge once more. Okay, back again. So, the old fridge is out, so I'm left with a cavity, which obviously we don't need most of this anymore. I'm isolating everything. I'm going to reuse some of these cables, and I'm going to take this um, mains connector, and I'm going to pull it back through into here, into the back of the back, and in this area, the wee space here, I'm going to mount the new controller for the fridge. So I'm going to put the camera off for the moment, that's the plan, and I'll put it back on in a minute. Okay, so this is us with the wiring here. This is the redundant wiring all tidied up, and the redundant gas lines all tidied up, so the cavities are ready there for a new floor to mount the new fridge. And then the other thing I've done is I have mounted the new controller in there, and I'm ready just to run the cable through to the new fridge. Uh, later on, our current battery's here, and we've got an inverter here. So I'm hoping there'll be space below here under the new fridge where I could put two new larger batteries in and I'm thinking about finding somewhere else to put an inverter because it's not ideal in there. Don't have a remote control for it. Um, it does work, you just have to lift the seat to switch it on. So the installation's good, it's just not quite so convenient to get to. So that's the plan. Next shelf, next step is the shelf and then mount the new fridge. Okay, so this is the, the enclosure for the new fridge. And this is just a shelf that we've put in there, so the plan is to mount the fridge on that and then put a divider in um, to make a wee tiny shelf at the side. So that'll be the next step. So I think we're getting there now. This is the fridge. This is it mounted in place. I've still to put the wee bit of cabinet in the side to make the wee narrow shelf. And I'm keeping this space below for hopefully the batteries and moving the inverter there if that all works. Um, and it's all wired up now, at least temporary, just to check if it's working. And I'll do a wee... We switch the lights off, we'll get a wee bit of, hopefully, effect of the light. There we go, it's looking pretty good at the moment. It's cooled down very nicely, it's been on for two hours. So, this is the controller here for the new compressor fridge. The wiring's a wee bit messy at the moment, this will all be tidied up um, and I've just wired it here direct to the leisure battery. Um, the wiring's messy at the moment because I'm probably going to move the leisure battery and I want to make sure I've got enough cables or cut it back later on. The convenience of this Dometic controller for the fridge is that when it's in supply with 240 volts, it supplies 24 volts to the fridge and it automatically detects if there's no 240 volts and it then takes power direct from the battery and supplies 12 volts to the fridge so it's very very convenient and seems to be working really well so far so good so we're getting there now that's the fridge fitted and it's all wired up and the bit below is closed in for the battery box and the next job there is to fit the batteries in here so this just makes it look nice for just now and then I've got this wee shelf at the side Maybe for laptops and maybe some of my camera stuff. 
just to finish off a wee bit but we're getting there so the next job is to replace that front panel it's not quite as sturdy as we would like so we're going to replace it with the same board so that'll be the next job so that's the panel then now replaced there it's quite a bit stronger before i think it looks quite a bit nicer so i, I quite like that so pleased with that So just giving a wee final update on the fridge installation so that's the fridge fully installed and i've got the cover of the door on the battery box no batteries in it yet but the battery enclosure's there and we've got a wee shelf at the side that hopefully will allow us to store our laptops in there so that's the plan and then at the back wendy's made uh insulation blinds for the back windows so they fit really nicely and if we want we can also put the blind down as well so that'll be quite handy and I'll show you that from the outside too it's just made a really nice job of them so it's dark now but I think you can still see that to advantage so that's the blinds from the outside like in a mylar coating with the insulation in between so that will help us with the back and we've ordered new um, silver screens for the front so I think they come tomorrow actually and then the last new addition is just a wee bin, which we've been lacking up until this point. So to conclude this video, I did mention the silver screens earlier that we'd ordered. So there's a few images there which just shows the first time we fitted the silver screens on the campsite. Um, these are a really good fit. I'm really pleased with how they worked out. I hope this video has been useful about installing the CRX65 fridge. Um, we are really pleased with how it's worked out. It looks good quality. Um, the first couple of nights we've been away in it to try it out, it's proved it works really well. So that's really good. Um, and this last slide shows the equipment we use when we are making our videos.